Hello and welcome everyone to a new episode of a new series called The Showcase. Um, this is not progress report because this is not a progress report on my commercially available games. This is just me showcasing stuff that I have worked on. Um, you know, either for shits and giggles or for free or whatever. This is Shroud of the Avatar, a very, very well crowdfunded game. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this for the second time because the first time it didn't record because it doesn't like being recorded in full screen, so I'm having to record it in 1280 by 720. So sorry if the quality isn't what you'd like. That's not my not my fault. Um, yeah, very, very well crowdfunded game by Richard Garriott, Portalarium. Um, the guy who made the Ultima series, of which I am a huge fan. So this is my character. She's, uh, quite dashing, I say. Quite handsome. You know, my my kind of girl. Um, this is my house. My house is really big. Really big. Oh my gosh, it's so big. Hello. Was this house here before? I don't think it was. Hello, who are you? I don't care. I have a huge house. And you don't. You have a you have a rather smaller house. <laughs> uh, we're currently in Port Phoenix, which is a player run town run by Kazan. Phoenix Fire. He's a very nice guy. Friend of mine. Um, yeah, jolly good fellow. You should uh look us up sometime. Now we're going inside my house. Is this stuff I need to show you, and it's not my poor interior decorating skills. By the way, I'm not going to go up because there's nothing up there. There's, like, no decorations. Okay, so, six years ago... Six? No. How many years? Seven. 2008. It was my sixth video that I ever made on YouTube. It was me playing uh, MML, which is a music notation format, on Mabinogi. So, MML is... Wow, there's a lot of shadow bleed here. Just, just, it's an alpha, people. Don't, don't, it's pre-alpha, actually, I think. Well, whatever. Anyway, you, uh, you could, uh, lost my train of thought there. You could, um, write down how to play a sequence of notes in plain text. So it's like, um, C, C16 is like play. A C note in the current octave that's one sixteenth long. And then you could do stuff like that, and it has a few commands, and it's all quite good. And you could play it in the game. I never really got around to doing much with it in Mabinogi, which made me kind of sad. But there was a huge design flaws in that game, where if you leveled the easy skills up first, you couldn't level up the harder skills to level up anymore, so that sucks. There's also AVC, which is actually made for being able to print out sheet music, so it's way more complicated. But Turbine, in their infinite wisdom, decided to implement that to be able to be played in um, Lord of the Rings Online. Also, Starbound lets you also play ABC files in-game. Now, that's all well and good, and I was like, well, there's all these libraries uh, of, of songs for like Archage, Mabinogi, Lord of the Rings Online, Starbound. So I'm going to make a, a library that can play both ABC and MML. And it's going to be like just, it just does the passing and the timing. It doesn't actually make the sound that's up to the game. And I never, I, I got kind of halfway through and then I kind of ditched it like I tend to do with a lot of projects. But then um, Shroud of the Avatar was like, oh, we're going to crowdsource content and coding and stuff. And I'm like, yay, I'm going to polish this up and submit it and become, get a really big house, basically, in game. That was, that was my aim. Um, so I did. And I did. And I did. By which I mean, I did polish it up. I did submit it. And I did get a really big house. So, ooh, ooh I love this view. That's like our Statue of Liberty over there. It's, I, I think the Titan of Love. And then you have like the pretty trees here. I really like this balcony. It's quite good. Quite good. So, um, what I wanted to show you guys is the music playing functionality. So let's just, uh, let's just play. Have you played Mystical Ninja? Because I quite like it. Here, let me play you the song of my people.
So yeah, this, uh, that's just a song that I made from a MIDI file, basically. And you can play it in-game. It's amazing. And I did this. I did, like, my code that is playing that song. Like, half of it, half of the code that plays that song is mine. And it's in a Richard Garriott game. And I'm quite proud of that little tidbit. Tidbit? Tidbit. There's a T in there, Eenie. Um, yeah. So that's a thing. There's also pianos. So everyone, everyone likes a good uh, Mega Man 2 Dr. Wily stage. So let's do one of those then, shall we? Yeah. that you can also play together but I have no friends currently no I do have friends but um, it's pretty early so nobody's on and I don't have any multi-part you know things to play um so that's that's quite sad I can't show that off to you uh yeah basically I'm quite happy with how it all turned out now the library that in question I licensed it and the MIT license, which is basically do whatever the fuck you want with it. So, um, if you're interested in that, there's going to be an annotation on the screen that will take you to the GitHub page. And you could use it and contribute, maybe. I don't know, probably not. Uh, if you're interested in Shroud of the Avatar, I'm also going to put an annotation for, the, for that onto the screen. Um, I think. Is there anything else I wanted to say about this? No. I'm just gonna, the rest of this video is gonna be no commentary, I'm just gonna play a bunch of my songs. So I hope you enjoy. Okay? Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Bye bye